just dropped my kid off for soccer and it, it's really bright. I hate to put on, I like to put on sunglasses. I like to put on sunglasses for you. But we are here in Shizuoka and we're at a, a shrine that I just walked by and um, I drove by, I just pulled over. And I, um, I wanna sh I'm gonna share it with you. I wanna show you the view that got me, that, that aroused. Did he say aroused? Yes, that aroused my curiosity. Um, let me just step back a little bit before I, I do the, to my grandma's deal. I think this will do it. It's a, it's the mundane. Ohio gozaimas. Ohio gozaimas. The guy Kaguhin is here. So let's start here with what we're looking at. This is not the reveal. It's this. It's really like that. The things that you get so accustomed to. This shape. This everyday shape. Like, that's wild, man. And then little things. You know? Little things. But look at the shape of that roof. I don't know what this shrine... <laughs> it has solar panels. Isn't that awesome? I don't know anything about this place. Well, I mean, I, I know the things that I have through first-hand experience is that there's a bazillion shrines and temples all over Japan, as you may... You probably know. But there's more than you'd picture. But this is just... One, wow, that's, that's a deep cut on, on, on kanji there. So that's hopeless. I have no idea. But this is one I've walked by a bazillion, not walked by, I've driven by a bazillion times that I just was struck by the roof. Just the magnificence of the ordinary. I don't have any great commentary. I don't have anything enlightened or educational to tell you. I just have experience to share. And the Japanese really don't mind an overhead power line. I mean, I'm sure it's because of the earthquakes, but it, it so interrupts the flow. <laughs> Look at that. As you all know, Japan's a, a shoe-free zone, but someone's slippers are here. This little stream, this short stream is really about nothing. But, as I was saying to my kid the other day, it's all the little nothings that really equal the everything. Does that make sense? I know it's better to have be able to see my eyes, but it's just so bright. The winter sun here is so bright. It's all the, it's all the little things that equal everything. It's that winter sun on a Sunday morning. Right now it's chilly, it's slowly getting warmer. I think this, I'm not going to speculate. I have an idea what this is, but I'm not going to speculate. There's one 100 yen coin. I think I know what that is. And why that is. But this is a, the graveyard. At the shrine. By the shrine of the road that I drive by all the time. And it's become so ordinary, but these things are really kind of amazing. You no, know, it's just so different here. Everything's just, everything's different. Every, even McDonald's is different. Everything's just so wildly different. Like the orientation. Uh, someone said hello, but the missed message disappeared. Hello, whoever you are. Everything's just different. Like just the way the light hits the fence is different. The traffic lights are blue instead of green. Isn't that a Jimi Hendrix song lyric? The traffic lights, they turn blue tomorrow, uh, shining down on the, and the, the wind cries Mary. That's like a lyric of that, I think. But let's take a look at this roof. 
I know it's not called a gargoyle because I'm not in America. But the best terminology I have is the gargoyles on the roof. And the thing about it, Japan is that there's so many places that are like, you must see this and you must see that. And those things are all wildly awesome. Like people say that like, oh, I don't want to go to the tourist places because they're so touristy. Like all the tourist places and all the places you'll ever visit, those are the places you should go because they've already been, they're touristy because they're completely awesome. But these ordinary places are just amazing, man. Like, I don't know what in the world this is. This is, it, I see the roof is like OG, like it's an old roof, that roof tile is old. But you know, let's take a look. I can contextually figure out by the <laughs> moss, by the moss growing on the stone. These are the things that happen to you. When you lose your language, you have to start figuring out contextual clues. Like um, an illiterate. You know, there's a, there's a certain gift with illiteracy. All of the, oh, here, see? This one, this guy's old. This is super ultra old. Let me just get in close so you can see what I mean. Like that is old school. And this is a graveyard. This is an old grave. I mean, look at that. But these guys, these big boys back here, maybe they were redone. I don't know. Because I am illiterate in Japan. But this guy is shiny, par 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 polished, polished marble. These are the kind of things I'd be curious about. This is um, the place where you put the incense. And I'm, I'm sorry, my English has got a real, a lot of soft A's to it. I'm not trying to be pretentious. I just don't speak enough English to anyone. So I hear myself saying weird words and having this odd accent that will go away when I'm back in America. So please don't think that I'm insane. But this is where you put the incense. And it's still near the new year. So I'm sure that people still have fresh, I think these are half fresh, half old. But look at these. I predict via context that these shrines, I'm sorry, that these graves are the old guys. I don't know what these are. Sorry for all the wind sounds. Ah, these ladles are familiar. Those are for washing your hands. The buckets are probably for washing the graves. And the names are probably people that own the buckets to wash the graves. It looks like this building that has the old school roof on it actually is older, newer than, sorry, I'm moving around so quick. I'm sure I'm wide enough. I think that this building is actually newer than that building. I bet it was that one originally and maybe, maybe we, we, the Americans, I don't want, there was a big war. I don't want to get into it. But this guy back here, this looks like an old part of the graveyard. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Let's take a look. Oh, it's a candle stand. And these guys are wearing caps and handkerchiefs, which I should know what they mean, but I don't know what they mean. But we can take a look together. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Happy New Year. Allow me to adjust that for you. Feels better, doesn't it? And look at these. So yeah, here we are at a little shrine, the graveyard. 
And I was just driving by, and um, I just thought I'd share it with you. It's the things that I think that are like um, no longer interesting, that I think are actually the most interesting. I'm gonna go Joe. I'm gonna go jump. I'm gonna go jump back. Back. There it is again. Go jump back into my minivan. Poke around for a minute. Actually, I can show you. You know, let me just give you context. This actually makes sense. Like this is just regular old Japan's running here. You know, K cars, blue one. That's a little bit unusual. Hi, Oga Daimas. Man, everyone's so old here. It's just bananas, man. It's crazy how old everyone is. Um, me too. I'm old. Um, let's take a look over here. It's winter, and it never freezes here. So, things grow all year. And Japanese love to use every inch of land. Oh, look at that broccoli. Holy shibole, that looks. I mean, this is a land of abundance, man. Look at that. It's growing on a little plant planter. Man, in New York City, you could not get a piece of broccoli to grow like that if you were like the most green thumb person in the world. And look at all these salad greens that are popping out here. Uh, this white stuff insulates. It's like a little greenhouse. So it keeps it warm enough because it gets chilly at night. This is negi. Is it like, there's that word like again. These are scallions. And you can chop these and they just keep on going forever and forever and forever and forever. So this is what I originally pulled over to show you. Was this shrine. And just how it just lives here and just mo 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 modernity. Modernity? You know, an hour and a, or so from my house. Down the hill a bit. But yeah, I wanted to show you this. Hopefully I'm not zoomed in on my face too much. And this is my minivan. Huh. And look at that. Just everyday Japanese scene. It's so different here. It's just so different. One last look at that roof. Okay, sister. I hope you have a great day. Actually, let's see. What is it? It's, uh, my clock is America, so it's, um, Saturday night around 7 o'clock. Hope you enjoyed watching, uh, I'm Lester Hall. <laughs> Samantha Guff. Guthrie, signing off here at uh, 30 Rockefeller Plaza. Take care of yourself. Seriously, um, happy new year. Hope this year has started off well for you. And uh, I'll see you later. Goodbye, friend.